Hello everybody, Jeremy here, and this is Tokyo Jungle Mobile. Tokyo Jungle is a very interesting game. It first came out on the PlayStation Network, and it is a post-apocalyptic game that takes place in Tokyo. And all the people have disappeared, and the world has been taken over by animals. And you play as these animals, going about their everyday lives, looking for food, finding mates, and trying to stay alive. The game was weird, but for the people who liked it, they really liked it. This is really, really one of those games where really you like it or you don't. And this is the mobile version of this. Tokyo Jungle Mobile was released on July 9th in the uh, PlayStation Store as part of PlayStation Mobile which means you can play the game on the Vita or any Android device that is PlayStation certified, which sadly ain't a whole lot out there, especially in North America. So this game is $2.99 and I really think that it's a good fit for mobile because it's really just a survival game. You can last in this game for three minutes, you can last for ten minutes, it really just depends and it's really really easy and fast to just pick up and go. So let's get started, show you a little bit about this game. It's loading now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So one of the biggest things about this game is that you can pick which animal you want to play as. Here are the different animals that you have to choose from. Uh, you can be a carnivore or an herbivore and this is a deer, a Pomeranian, a chick, let's see I have a beagle and here are all the other animals that I can unlock using these points that I've accumulated on the upper right hand corner of the screen and these are animals that I have yet to unlock. I mean look at all these animals look at that. There's an elephant, it's an alligator or a crocodile, a giraffe, looks like an ostrich, a dinosaur, that looks like man, looks like prehistoric man. So really, just go through and do your best. So I am going to, let's be a cat, a predator cat. And we're going to play as this cat. So since I am a carnivore, my whole goal is to uh, keep my hunger meter from depleting by killing everything that I see that looks weaker than me. So, the hunger meter in this game is going to constantly go down, so you always have to eat. And if your hunger meter gets too low, your health meter will start to go down, and if that goes down, it's game over. So, defeat five animals. That is my current challenge. So, let's do this. As you can see, you're moving along a grid here, and this just indicates all the places that you can move. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to basically stalk these animals and wait for that red um, sign to go above them around them so I can kill them instantly and you can also mark your territory and if you mark your territory you do it enough times you'll be able to set up a mating spot so if I were to find another another predator cat who finds me worthy I can mate with them have kids and then when I die I can continue to play. It just won't be an automatic game over. So now I have to intake 2,000 calories or more. Let's sneak up on this rabbit. Got him. There's my calorie meter down there at the bottom. Ah, he ran away, bastard. Let's keep going. Let's go find some more stuff to eat. I like my kills quite clean. And you can just go around wherever you want. This is the map here. And sometimes you, as part of objectives, you have to go to certain places. And it seems to me like you have to make it there within a certain period of time, otherwise it fails. Okay. Ah, the sheep is fighting back! Oh dear God. Yeah, that, that sheep had my number. But its friend here doesn't... Oh God, he's coming back! I'm sorry. Yeah. 
and your health does regenerate. All right, so the Shibuya, I had missed all that, but this district is now mines, which means I can mate if I want to. I just need to find a suitor. Okay, so lucky me, I found a suitor. Now let's see if she's interested. Hey, don't go away. Let's see if you're interested in me. Yes, she is interested. Alright, so let's try to go find a wonderful little nest so that we can make some babies. Uh, we may have to go somewhere else. But we have to go to Shibuya Station, so let's try to do that. Now, Shibuya Station... Ooh, is really close, so I have to turn back around. Ooh, a present! What's in there? My hunger is satisfied. I'm gonna kill you anyway. That's what I do. As Mark Henry would say. Alright, so success going to Shibuya Station. I get plus five on my attacks. I can't use this territory. This is where I would mate if I could. Score two fine hunts. Not terribly sure what that means, so we're just going to kill things. Don't you run from me, rabbit! Rabbit kind of had my number for a second. Alright, so now we can make some babies. First, let me get this chicken out of the way. You too, chicken! Alright. Is this our wonderful nest? Can we mate you, or...? Hmm. I know the nest is somewhere. Defeat five animals, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to procreate here. Okay, here we go. I totally just copulated and I have babies so they're basically my lives and I have a new generation that has taken on some of the stats of their loving father which is my cat so we have to defeat four more animals prefer to do this clean buddy come on don't don't fight it's the law of the urban jungle where I kill you all day and over here at the bottom you see this like seven years this basically uh, shows how long uh, I've been alive how long my bloodline is going on so right now I'm about at seven and a half years all right and this game does not have trophies because precision mobile games do not so you really just have in-game achievements, basically, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Let's occupy this and take 2,000 more calories. So basically, kill more stuff and eat. I'm down with that. I think the game is easier when you... I'm going to eat that monkey. I think the game is easier when you are playing as a... You know, quite strong carnivore because there's always going to be food around but when you're an herbivore all you eat are plants and sometimes there's not always plants everywhere you go oh god Whew. That could have ended bad because when you're an herbivore you can't eat plants like that instead you can only eat plants like this is like a little mushroom here you can only eat those kind of uh, plants the ones that kind of stand out not just part of the uh, not just part of the regular environment I am giving it to him this is my jungle defeat five animals okay I'm surprised they're not having me go a lot of places like sending me to another side of the map I'm claiming this for my own don't run, don't, don't, don't stop it. There you go. Alright. Know your place. I survived for 10 years. 
And I'm also killing animals in their sleep. Seems quite unfair. But, hey. That's the law around here. You sleep, you die. And I totally take over your territory. Let me pee on this bush. It now belongs to me. Head for Dogenzaga. Alright, where is that? Dogenzaga. Oh, it looks like I'm relatively close. Okay, well. Let me just pee on that. At least I think I can get to Dogenzaga from here, can I? Yeah, I guess I can. I'm getting hungry. Oh dear god. Now this dog, he. Oh god, he's fighting me. Go. No! No! Okay. Normally that would have been the end, but since I had babies, I basically got another life to continue. Ugh. Well, they're just going at it. Break it up! <laughs> oh god! Oh jeez! You're just killing off my entire line! Oh my god! Jeez, this guy. Oh no. And I am dead. Such is the law of the Tokyo jungle. Let's see how well I did. So all things considered, got myself 27,375 points which I can use towards buying more animals and doing the same thing over again. So. So far, I'm doing uh, the best with the cat, followed by the beagle, the seeker deer, Pomeranian, the rabbit, and the beagle, again. Yeah, so guys, that is Tokyo Jungle Mobile. That's pretty much the entire game. You'll just be doing that over and over again. Uh, you can check out some of your honors that you have accomplished along the way, which are basically trophies that are not trophies so you can see all your accomplishments here 10 years survival and they're all right there and let's take a look at the other options we have your rankings which of course you just saw the rankings and yes it's a very simplistic game and for only two dollars and 99 cents i'm going to say it's worth it especially if you like the original tokyo jungle uh may not look and, well, Tokyo Jungle didn't quite look good, but it does take a hit in the graphics department for the PlayStation Mobile version, but that's okay. That was never what this game was about. It was about the really, really quirky gameplay and finding notes and stuff. I don't think you can do that in this game. But for running around, killing animals, seeing how far you can get and playing as different animals over and over again for $3, I'm all for it. So, Tokyo Jungle Mobile, get it right now. Till next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll see you later.